What's up everyone? Welcome to this week's video. It's still quite early and I am going to hit a workout on my mate who's come down from another city and I realised that I've never actually done a leg workout on this channel like a proper one so we're going to hit legs, big legs and this is going to be the earliest leg session I've ever done actually. I've always been an evening trainer, I've always trained in the evenings like past 4 or 5 o'clock. Um, lately I've been coming, becoming more of a morning person and uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes, my legs can handle it. What's up guys, sitting in the car, about to walk into the gym. We're gonna hit a big leg session. Here's our main man Troy. What's up? From Leicester, he's come down to work out. We're gonna hit a couple workouts this week while he's in Birmingham. And this leg session, we were just thinking, how weird is it that leg day comes round so much faster than the other days? Like, it takes forever for chest or arms to come round, but I trained legs two days ago, and I probably will in two days' time. Like, how does that happen? Like, I don't know. Programming. <laughs> programming? My programming's <laughs> wrong? I, I swear I thought it was equal. I used to do leg day. I used to, I used to do legs every day. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, we, he, he did a leg week. Man did a leg week. For I'm a not home, doing for that. For a whole month. I shit you not. It was hilarious. It was so good, so great. Couldn't walk though. Couldn't walk. Couldn't walk. Couldn't ride a bike. Couldn't couldn't work. But yeah, let's get this workout. Yeah, going. let's get it going. We're gonna cheers with our monsters. Little pre-workout going on. Unison. Red, white. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose this is the best place to cut this. And <laughs>
Done with the workout. Here we are. Chilling afterwards. Both quite exhausted, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed that edit. We just wanted to conclude this video with a quick little talk about what he trains his forearms. Show him. Because tra training legs isn't enough for him. We're going to talk about real quick the difference between training with a partner and training by yourself. Because me and, me and Troy used to train together when we first started. Then he moved away. We started training separately. And we developed different styles. But we still get together once in a while like we did today. Basically, it's going to say I've been training on my own for, I think, a few years now. And you kind of get into a routine um, where you literally just depend upon yourself. Like, you're going to wake up. You take yourself to the gym. There's no, like, middleman. You don't have to contact your friend. Say, oh, you come in gym today. We're working out. They say no. They're having a shit day. That doesn't affect you. Because mm -hmm. you're going to gym for you. You're working out on your own. And when you're in the gym, everything you do is dependent on you. It has a very focused style of training to it. I go to the gym, I do my workout, and that's all I'm focused on. So less time wasting. Less time wasting. 45 minutes in, out, feel great. You feel so good. You can definitely do it a lot faster. Definitely, definitely faster. Definitely a lot faster. Probably a bit more convenient, but vice versa. You might not be able to go as heavy because no, there's no one, to spot, no one to spot you. What I find... There's no one to compete with. That, that's one thing. There's no one to kind of push you, even say something in the background to you just to push you further. And secretly, even though you might be mates, you're almost competing against each other as well. Like you want to sort of match each other's weight and what you're lifting. Definitely. You don't want to be that guy who starts working out with your partner and two months time he's doing like more plates than you. You want to keep up with your partner. You want to work out together. And I found at the very start of when we started training, Uze was stronger than me in certain movements, certain exercises, and that yeah. pushed me. I couldn't deadlift to save my life. And now I deadlift more than he does. And that's because at the start of my <coughs> training, <coughs> that, <laughs> <laughs> great genetics. <laughs> yeah. Start of my training, seeing him deadlift when I couldn't even pick up a bar, just it's Maybe definitely very wanna, motivating yeah it definitely motivates you so much more but even if you go by yourself remember why you started remember why do you go to the gym every day why do you make that effort why do you eat the right foods remember why you do that even if you're by yourself or with someone at the end of the day you go in there for one sole purpose and that is to get big massive shredded even though you don't have to rely on someone when you have a training partner you can just go to the gym whenever you want Vice versa, there's always, um, if you know your partner is going that day, you know you have to go. You can't miss it. He's going to call you a wimp the next day because you've got a set plan and you've got to follow him. It's like There's no right or wrong way to train. You can train alone. You can train with a partner. It's up to you, really. If you prefer that competitive drive between the two, two people, go for it. The only thing I would say is, obviously, the bigger your group, the longer the workouts are going to take. If you're yeah. going you know, to the gym every day with five other people... It's going to be ridiculous. Six people trying to get on a bench press. Yeah. Six Don't go in a big group. Don't go in a big group. Like, there, there are limits. Yeah. Of course, the more people, it sounds fun. It sounds like a great thing to do. There's a amount of fun to be had, but you're not, it's not a social club. No, like, it's, it's not, not a social club. Just be considerate of other people. If you're with a big group, that means everyone else around you is going to have to wait for, for you that and the whole group to finish on that machine. That could yeah. take... God knows how long. There's no wrong or right answer. Obviously, you just don't do big groups. <laughs> yeah. So... We'll end it there. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Peace.